look, you guys, the day I found out that my 16-year-old daughter is pregnant, man, it was a, it was a bad day for me. Um, it was very depressing, very depressing. I yeah. know you remember that day. Oh, yeah. You didn't want to eat. You didn't want to sleep. He didn't want to go to work. Didn't want to talk to nobody. He was depressed for literally two weeks straight. Like he was confused, yeah. embarrassed. You, you know what? Grown man wants to hear that his daughter is pregnant at 16 years old. Yes. Especially have you know, just period. You know. Right. Well, it, the reason we are doing this video because we get a lot of negative comments literally a lot but we also get a lot of positive comments and we decided let's do this video we get asked a lot of questions and dms every single day on our youtube instagram TikTok, and uh, and you know since we are a social media influencing family right um we don't keep anything from you guys we actually show you guys everything so we figured we might as well talk about this and show this to you guys too right so we basically Definitely. picked a few questions and i'm going to ask Kenny. and those questions is basically majority of people ask the same question so we just picked a few of them and uh, are she's, you ready yeah she, she's basically going to interview, interview yes, me yes like guys. A interview but we before we do start a lot of people don't know but i am actually samaya's stepmother i don't want to say stepmother because it does sound like Stepmother. Like Cinderella. Like Cinderella, yes. It's not that situation. Yes, I might not be her biological mom, but I do love her. Like, she's my own. She does live with her mother, and she comes to our house every single weekend. Yeah. And uh, they've been coming to our house, spending time with us since Samaya was three years old and Jordan was two years old. So I'll say about 15 years already. So I know a lot of you guys... And don't get it twisted. Right. Sometimes they do stay longer than two days. No, no, of course, of <laughs> course, of yeah. course. But, but that's just what court was court ordered. Right, of course. Many times they stay for a week, two weeks, you know, mm -hmm. just as long as they need to. Exactly, it's their second home too. But we'll get to the questions and let's go for it. So the first question that we get asked is, how did you let your sixteen-year-old daughter get pregnant? Well, first and foremost. I had absolutely no idea that she was even sexually active, period, okay? She's 16, she's my, 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 my first child, my, my princess, right? I had no idea that she was sexually active. And I've had multiple conversations with her about it just in case she was lying to me. I always thought that in the back of my head. This conversation needs to happen because when you're around that age, you know, you start, you know, you start thinking about things. Right. You know, so... And Yes, we always spoke to her about safe sex, but she, obviously she wasn't comfortable enough to speak to me or to him about that. And, what, and, 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 and when you have the mother and you have the father um, in the picture, you know, most girls aren't going to open up about that with their father. You know, that's more of like a woman thing, you know? Right. So if yes. she, obviously she was active, but I had no idea. Period. Second question is, did you educate her about safe sex? And yes, you actually did answer that. You did, I did, I know that her mother did, of course. And like he said, she is a teenager and teenagers, you they know, lie. They lie and they do sneaky things. When and I was 16, I lied too to my parents. I'm sure you did too. Of course. And you know what? And it's like, when you're that age, you think you know the world. You think you know everything and you know, you just think you know everything at that age, so. Yes, you know it all, and you don't need your parents' You're perfect. Advice. Yes. We don't know what we're talking about. We're old. <laughs> I'm only 30, about to be 37, so. So next Definitely question. Not old. Why didn't she have an abortion? Well, first and foremost, we don't believe in abortion. Second of all, when we all found out that she was pregnant and when she found out she was pregnant, she was already four months pregnant. Um, but I don't really know, honestly, if she knew she was pregnant before the four months. You know, I personally don't know that, but I know I didn't have any Right, well, awareness. we found out when she was four months. Exactly. And we don't believe in abortion. That's first and foremost. And 
you know. And one thing that she did do is she switched her swag up. And I had no idea because baggy clothes is in. Okay. You know, they're, they're in. So she started dressing a little different. But now that I'm looking back on it now, I'm putting one and one together. So. All right. Next and question. Next question. Yes. Are you not embarrassed? Is okay. this, this is question three? Yeah, question three. Okay. Are you not embarrassed? Let me really quick before you answer, okay? Okay. So, I personally, I posted a video. You got four million views on my uh, personal Instagram. And a lot of people are saying on there... A lot of people are saying positive things, but a lot of the comments are, I'll be embarrassed to even put it on social media. That might be you. But I'm not embarrassed, okay? She's already pregnant. What are we going to do? Disown her? Exactly. Not be there for her? Not be there for her? Uh, but yeah, like, you, you what, what do be... they expect? to do it's and it's like some of these comments are, are so crazy right. oh no i wouldn't forgive her yeah. i would so what are you gonna cinderella her you're gonna lock her down in the basement like that doesn't yeah, help I mean, yes obviously she made a mistake and she's gonna have a to big mistake with it. a big mistake but what, what do we do now just like he said before we have to turn a negative situation into a positive, into a positive situation. situation i apologize somebody's calling me so let me do this but yes so to answer your question do you want to answer them really quick no you answer okay. it so, uh, at first, we were embarrassed, obviously, you know, it makes all of us look bad, not just him, not just me, her mother was very embarrassed too, but it is what it is, what do we do? And now it's we a have blessing, to now there's a exactly. human being, another addition to the family. Yes, and everything yeah. happens for a reason, guys, you know, we that might not true. know what the reason is, but everything... At the moment. At the moment, yes, yeah. but everything happens for a reason, and I'm not saying it to encourage other teenagers to get pregnant no not at all not but if we knew she was sexually active we'll definitely push the issue of her being on birth control birth control all yes. day yes <laughs> uh, okay so next question is what is our goals okay so i wish samaya was here but let me tell you something about samaya she's very smart she only have she's literally an a student Dude. Okay, with honors. High she GPA. definitely, a lot of people are saying in the comments, oh, she's not even going to finish school. Oh, no, her life is over. Oh, no. Her life is not over because she has us, and she has her mother and her family, and she wants to finish school. And how can your life yes. be over just because you're bringing another life into this world? Like, there's so many people that were being so, were criticizing the situation, but I guarantee maybe your father or your mother may have had you young. So keep that in mind too. You know, this isn't the first time this has ever happened. Right. Of you course. know, so no. multiple nationalities, multiple people have, you know, have young moms, she, uh, young dads. She actually texted me guys because she was not able to be here to do this video. So I wanna read you the camp like the text. She says, My goals are to graduate high school with honors. I also want to do you. online college for business. I want to be an entrepreneur and own my own business. And yes, like we us. are entrepreneurs and we will teach her every step of the way to be successful. And it's not that we're going to push her to do that. She wants, she to, wants do that. to do that. And she, she knows she's going to be successful because anything you put in your mind, it will happen. If you say I'm going to be successful, she will be successful. Yeah. Yes. And that's, that's what it takes. Hard yes. work and dedication. And she sees us doing it all day, every yes. day. Now, for the people that are leaving positive comments. Thank and, you so much. Yes. Thank I love you, you guys. So Appreciate you. And, you know, unfortunately it happened and we just have to accept it and move on and be positive about the situation. And I hope we answer some of your questions. And by the way, he's not a bum. Okay. He's, he's a hardworking young man. Her boyfriend. Yes. I'm referring to her boyfriend. Yes. He's actually, I think, six months younger than her. Um, and he's going through the situation too. You know, I think he has seven or eight scholarships for basketball that are looking at him right now. Um, so hopefully, you know, everything goes according to plan with him and, and his journey. But regardless, not only am I teaching her to be an entrepreneur, he, as long as he's in the picture, he's going to be an entrepreneur as well too. If he wants to, of yeah, course. He if, wants to course. be a basketball player, yeah. but basically what he's trying to say is that he will show him the way on how to be a successful entrepreneur. Exactly. And yes. if you are a professional basketball player, aren't, aren't being an entrepreneur is also the other side of the coin. Yes. 
Right. Look at LeBron James. Well, he's only look 16. at Kobe. He's only sixteen. So first level. But still, just, school. but just in general, in look general, at Shaquille yeah. O'Neal. He's the best prime example. Man's yes. a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire. Exactly. And you know he played ball. Yeah. So he made the right investments. All right.